some fossils and see what we can find. Um, as you might have just heard over there, quite a lot of shale has just fallen down. For future reference, if you're ever out at the beach yourself, whilst you should always be far away from the cliff anyway, you should even be more so aware of that when it's raining or very hot weather because a lot of the cliff can fall. Even if it's just little pieces of shale, quite a bit can fall. Let's have a little walk along, look for some fossils, well away from the cliff, and hopefully we find something. In this first part of the video, we've got a nice section of Spot the Fossil, where I found a few ammonite fossils and dotted them around a little section of pebbles and boulders, and we're going to go through and have a look for them to see if you can spot them. In the last third of the video or so, got a really nice section as well of a little seal swimming around in the sea. So we'll be able to watch that, and I hope you enjoy the video. Whilst I've been walking along, I've found three pretty nice ammonite fossils and I've placed them around here, similar to where I actually found them. However, we'll walk along and see if we can spot them. First one's already in shot. Can you see where it is? The ammonite's over there. There's also a really large chunk of fossilised wood next to it as well. So here's the wood. Pretty nice sized piece. Just over here we have the ammonite. And really nice about this one, it's got a pretty red or orange type uh, finish to the pyrite. It's uh, really nice and unusual. Okay, so that's the first ammonite. Now let's try and look for the next one. It's quite possibly all, you know, a few other fossils around here as well. Okay, so the next one's now in shot. Can you see this one? So this one was just down there. In between that crack of two pretty big boulders. This ammonite is also a partial ammonite. It's got a 3D outer whirl, then the center of the ammonite is completely squashed flat. So that's the second one, and let's find the third. So the next one is also in shot. Not sure if these have been too easy to find or just about right. But let me know in the comments if you want some more tricky ammonites to spot. So the last one, or well, the third one, is just over there. Let's go have a look at it. There we go. Another ammonite that's not complete. The centre of it isn't preserved very well, however, I do really quite like it. It's lovely and pirateized, nice and golden looking. I think sometimes these ammonites, where they're not complete, sometimes look nicer than the perfect ones. They're a lot more unique. A couple of fossils I've spotted over on the shale as well, so I'm going to go put our finds next to them and have a look at our little collection of ammonites that we've managed to pick up in just around 10 minutes or so.
here's a look at the fossils we've just found there. There's also a couple of shale preserved ammonites. First one is little small pyritized ammonite with some pyrite clusters on it, as well as a few little barnacles. Next to my hammer, just in the background, there's a shale preserved phylloceros ammonite. You can see all of the sutures on it, which represent the growth lines of the ammonite. There's the imprint again of the Hildoceros ammonite. We'll have a little look for some more fossils now and then we'll have a look at that seal swimming about. There's a pretty nice Bellum Knight fossil. Got some modern day creatures, or where modern day creatures have been. Some little worm tubes left on it. Also another broken Bellum Knight just there. Pretty common to find. Couple of partial ammonites. That's all of the fossils from this video, and now we're going to have a look at the little seal. I was just recording some of the sea, and out the corner of my eye, I noticed its little head bobbing up out of the sea, looking at me. I walked along a little bit, and it kept swimming along to come and watch what I was doing. If you just look any second now at the top right of the video, you can see its head bob up for the first time. Just there. I walked a little, little bit further along and it kept bobbing up again and then diving back down into the sea quite quickly. I think it's the same seal as opposed to two swimming around. Sometimes I've seen seals on the beach, sitting on the sand waiting for the tide to come back in. But this one was quite happy just swimming around in the rainy sea. enjoyed that video it's quite different seeing the seal we don't see many about it's nice to see it watching over swimming around in the rain it's quite cool to see we've got a few nice little ammonite fossils as well all in all it's been a nice little fossil hunt but now i'm off to get dried so i'll see you in the next one